All right, so when adding two mixed numbers, um, the main important thing, though, whenever we're adding mixed numbers, we always want to convert them back over to improper fractions. And to do that, there's a kind of step-by-step -step process that I want to make sure you guys are all aware of because we're going to be using this over and over and over again. You guys are going to see mixed numbers quite a bit. So we want to make sure we can always complete compute mixed numbers as an improper fraction so we can apply our operations. So to do that, what you're simply going to do is take the denominator and multiply it by your whole value. So 4 times 5 is 20. Then you're going to add that sum, or that product, to your numerator. And when you do that, you're still going to leave it over 4. So 4 times 5 is 20, plus 1 is 21 over 4. Then I do the same thing over here. So that's 21 over 4, plus 3 times 2, which is 6, plus 2 is 8. Okay. So now I've written it as improper fractions. And now I have 21 over 4 plus 8 thirds. However, what we notice here is we have two un uncommon denominators, right? They're not like denominators. So Stephen, what we'd want to do in this case is we want to compute the, great, or the least common denominator. That means the smallest number that both 4 and 3 divide into. So to do that, what we need to do is one easy way to do that is just to multiply your denominators, 4 and 3. That's going to give you 12. We both know that 12 is divisible by 4 and divisible by 3, right? However, the next example I'll do, you'll notice that not always just multiplying denominators is the best or fastest or easiest way to determine the least common denominator. But we'll do that next. Um, so in this case, I need to multiply both of my denominators to get them to be 12. So I'm going to multiply this denominator by 3 and this one by 4. But it's very important, ladies and gentlemen, when you're multiplying to produce a common denominator, they multiply the denominator and the numerator by the same number. The reason being is we want to produce what we call equivalent fractions, Qu fractions that have the same value but are in different form. For instance, six, uh, sorry, 3 over 6 is equivalent to 1 half, right? right? They're equivalent fractions. Um, so now I need to multiply across. So when we multiply, we just multiply numerator times numerator, denominator times denominator. 3 times 21 is 63. Plus 12, over 12, plus 8 times 4 is 32 over 12. Now I have common denominators, and I can multi or add my numerators, which would be 95 over 12. Now I just need to look at what numbers are divisible by both of these to see if I can simplify this. So 12, I know the numbers that I can divide out of 12 would be a 12, um, 6, 3, and 4, and 2, but none of those are divisible by 95. So therefore, that is going to be my simplified answer. Cool? Okay. If you want to put it in back into the number, into a mixed number, yeah, absolutely. Um, to do that, to do that, what you determine is divide 12 into 95. How many times does 12 go into 95? without a remainder? Seven. Seven times. Seven times 12 is going to be 80, 84. So it goes in there seven times. And then you have 84, right? It goes in there 84. So then you subtract 95 minus 84, which is 11. So 11 would be your numerator over 12. And, and you can always check your work again. Um, 7 times 12 is what? 84 plus 11 is 95. Huh? You good, Stephen? You OK? 